Hey guys, let me tell you something kind of wild. Flight Radar 24, you know that airplane tracking website that everybody uses? Well, it was built by volunteers installing little antennas on their roofs, like a little bit like this one right there. Two months ago, that company was valued at $500 million. But here's the twist. Volunteer, the one that helped build the network, didn't earn anything. But now, imagine the same idea, but where you actually get rewarded. That's exactly what 40 sky is about and i'm gonna show you exactly how it works quick heads up this is not for everyone if you're looking for like a simple plug and play desk miner this is not it okay so you can go check something like an a6 that will mine bitcoin or something like that but 40 sky it's a little bit different so instead of trying to mine a block to get crypto rewards it tracks aircraft and rewards us by providing the data to things like airports by the end of this video you'll know everything about this project but most importantly well you're gonna know if you can make a little bit of extra money with it because not everyone can actually earn with this we're gonna get to that in an instant first let's look at the problem 40 sky tackles to track aircrafts the heavy lifting is done by radars very big, very expensive, and extremely accurate. Accurate until there's a hill or just a building in the way. That's when they need to rely on supporting system like the ADSB antennas, those little things right there. Right now, the only network offering that kind of coverage is Flight Radar 24. Here's the deal, and I mentioned this earlier, the entire Flight Radar 24 network is built by hobbyists, you know, who put antennas on the roof just out of passion. And because there's no incentives, three major problems appear. Number one, it creates holes and dead zones. And why this is bad it seems pretty obvious, but because there's no antenna in that area, you simply have no visibility on what's flying there. Number two, Regulator needs far denser coverage, way more ADSB antennas, so they can triangulate aircraft position and trust the data 100%. With just hobbyists from like Flight Radar 24, reaching the density is just impossible. That's why 40 Sky actually pays people to put the antennas up. But we're gonna get into that in a minute because the third biggest problem is that hobbyists don't all install the same equipment. Many setups can track low altitude flights. And with Amazon talking about drone deliveries and city preparing for low altitude traffic, this problem is only gonna get bigger. And that's exactly the problem that 40 Sky is solving. The reason that they're offering incentives to deployers. So like first, they reward people for installing antennas specifically in dead zones. So the network can actually fill the gap that the hobbyist systems, well, they can't. Second, they reach regulatory level accuracy. So the network needs roughly five times more density than Flight Radar 24. And incentives are the only way to actually achieve that. And third, lastly, 4D Sky uses the same technology that track both high altitude aircrafts and low altitude drones, creating for the first time a unified, reliable picture of the entire sky. 4D Sky isn't building a network and just hoping that someone will want the data. The data is already here and it's coming from people who actually run the sky, like civil aviation authorities like the CAA in the UK, the FAA in the US, delivery companies like Amazon Prime Air, Zipline, Wing. Well, they need dependable routes for autonomous flight. And utilities and infrastructure operators like National Grid, PG&E, Duke Energy, fly drones every single day, inspecting power lines, pipeline, and critical assets. Basically, this isn't someday the market might need this. This is real demand happening right now. And here's the important part. Every single one of those organizations needs reliable flight data, and they just can't get it anywhere else. That's why we're already seeing traction. So for example, the CAA, okay, it's the UK Civil Aviation Authority, the government body basically responsible for regulating airspace and making sure that all aviation activity is safe and compliant. Long story short, at Lens End Airport, they didn't consider 40 Sky, they tested it, validated it, and then they signed a $450,000 per year contract because they need the data immediately, not in five years. But that's just one case study. The real traction comes from everything building around it. That's why this data is so valuable because the market is pulling it right now. And as the sky gets busier, that demand only goes one direction, up. So let's take a look at the team behind this. So I actually studied uh, collision avoidance systems for drones right the way back at university at doctorate level, and then worked in the drone industry building aviation systems for drones, fix and avoid systems for agriculture, working in the survey space, so working with GNSS equipment to survey um, buildings and things with drones. And so I've been very deeply involved right the way through from technology to operations and then through to the regulatory domain. My co-founder, Neil, he's, his background is in air traffic control. He's been in the industry for 
for decades and worked with NATS, the National Air Traffic Service, who are the second largest air navigation service provider in the world. This is people who've been literally running major pieces of global aviation, not just some crypto founders. So by the way, if you feel like knowing more about the founders, we have a full interview with them and we can just send it to you by email. Okay, now let's talk about timing because this is where a lot of people actually get confused. So Forty Sky is currently in pre-TGE, so pre-token generation event. Basically, token are being created. Early hosts are earning them and nothing is tradable yet. And the real market value is expected next year. So yeah, the token doesn't have a price today. And that can feel kind of weird at first, but here's the thing. Pre-TG is where early hosts usually get the biggest upside, when you earn way more token for being early, for contributing to the early success of the network. This is why it's so important to understand the fundamentals of a pre-TGE project before just jumping into it, because you're backing the long-term success of the network. And right now, there's only about 200 devices worldwide. Okay, and by the way, what it takes to host one, let's keep it real, this isn't a little box you just put on your desk and plug it in. You're gonna need a rooftop access, a clear view of the sky, ethernet, proper mounting, and at least two kilometers from another device like this. If you're not technical, like no stress, you can always hire an installer, but we still made a full step-by-step -step guide if you wanna install it, if you get to this point. All right, so now here's what's happening right now. We're gonna be releasing 200 of these devices on November 26th, but here's the important part not every location qualifies. So before you buy, please check your location. The network only rewards area it actually needs. So if you lock in a valuable spot, it's yours. Nobody else is going to take it. And anyone who joins next year won't be able to get those high value locations anymore. So use the address checker below. It's going to tell you instantly if your home is in a good zone. If you're interested, just make sure you turn on notification on November 26th because these have been getting a bunch of sign up and it seems like they're gonna be gone fast. So if you still have some question, we do live Q and A's, you can just jump in with JD or we have a bunch of interviews also with the founders and much more in depth details. So you can go check it out. But first, before you do anything else, please check if your location actually works. It might, it might be taken. So it would be kind of a waste of time. So check this out and we're gonna see you there. Good luck on November 26th.